This video will be a continuation in our series on connective tissues. We will cover elastic cartilage in this video, but before we do that, let's talk about our unifying characteristics of connective tissues. All connective tissues have a mesenchymal origin, and so they have mesenchymal stem cells. And all of our connective tissues have two major components, cells and extracellular matrix. Our extracellular matrix can be divided into two components itself. First, we have ground substance, which is our fluid component. And then we have our extracellular fibers. Our extracellular fibers come in three different varieties. We have collagen fibers, which provide strength in one direction. We have elastic fibers, which provide stretch and recoil. And we have reticular fibers, which create a branching framework to provide strength in many directions. Collagen fibers generally stain pink, Elastic fibers generally stain dark purple, and reticular fibers either stain a dark brown black or light blue. So now let's get into the details of our tissue. In this video, we will be talking about elastic cartilage. First, we're going to do a generalized description of cartilage and then we'll cover a generalized description of elastic cartilage. In all cartilages, you're going to see lacunae housing your chondrocytes. So our lacunae are going to be spaces within the cartilage that house our chondrocyte. So here our structure is the lacuna and our cell inside of our lacuna is our chondrocyte. So we see lacunae in all cartilages. Here we see a lacuna. We've got lacuna with chondrocytes in it all over the place. These nice open spaces that house our chondrocytes. So our chondrocytes are inside of our lacunae. And in this picture, we see the cell as a dark blob and mostly what you're looking at is its nucleus. So that's our generalized unifying characteristic of cartilages. Let's talk about a general description of elastic cartilage in specific. Well, we're going to have those lacunae, so that does not go away. But what we see is our elastic cartilage is generally dark purple. And when we look at our matrix, we don't see that smooth, smudged appearance that we saw in hyaline cartilage. And instead, we can pick out individual elastic fibers running in between our lacunae. So when we look at our picture, we can see elastic fibers wrapping around our lacunae and being fibrous in those spaces. We can see our individual fibers. So with that generalized description, we gave ourselves our specialized cell type, chondrocytes. Remember, they are the cell that is inside the structure of the lacuna. And we also gave ourselves our specialized fiber types, our elastic fibers. For locations, we have fewer locations for our elastic cartilage than we had for hyaline cartilage. We see our elastic cartilage making up the structure of our external ear. Our external ear goes by a couple of different names. You can call it the external ear, or you can call it the pinna, or you can call it an auricle. That's A-U-R-I-C-L-E. Next place we see elastic cartilage is in our epiglottis. Our epiglottis is this little flap of elastic cartilage that is going to cover your glottis when you swallow. So your glottis is the opening to your respiratory tract, so it's the very top of our trachea, and our epiglottis bends to cover that opening whenever we swallow so that liquid and food and whatever else don't go down into our lungs. 
and if you take your external ear you can fold it in lots of different directions and when you let go it pops right back into its original shape and that's the function of our elastic cartilage it is going to bend and then recoil back into its original shape so we see that both with our external ear which you can manipulate and play with yourself and in our epiglottis whenever we swallow it bends to cover the glottis and when we're done it pops back up into its original shape so here we have our summary slide which gives us all the information that we saw before and we have a new picture that shows us several different things we have perichondrium surrounding our cartilage and then we have our lacunae filled with our chondrocytes as well as clear elastic fibers running in between our lacunae creating a meshwork frame. This picture is great because we've got beautiful lacunae here with our chondrocytes inside and you can see our elastic fibers up close creating that framework in between our lacunae. And lastly, I want to compare our elastic cartilage to our hyaline cartilage so that you can see the differences. In our elastic cartilage, you can clearly see fibers running in between our lacunae. And in hyaline cartilage, we have that smudgy appearance where you don't see any individual fibers. This concludes our lecture on elastic cartilage, and if you have any questions, never hesitate to contact your instructor.